Hello everyone, it's me Gagan Kumar present over here to teach you physics. Let's move on to the video. Today I will be discussing basic maths related to physics. Under this already we have completed derivative, integration and vectors. In vectors already we have completed two lectures. Now today we will be seeing some questions, some multiple choice questions and its solutions and along with some component like rectangular component and all vector we will try to see. Let's come to the video. How to resolve vector in two axis in y axis x axis if a vector a is there and this vector is making an angle theta with the x axis then we can take a component here and this component we can tell a cos theta and we can take a component here and this component we can tell it is your a sin theta and a is the magnitude of this a vector so here you can tell this a cos theta is what now this a cos theta is nothing but component of a component of a along x axis component of a along x axis or sometimes you can tell projection of a projection of a along along x axis. So, this also you can tell. Similarly, a sin theta what you can tell? a sin theta you can tell it is the component of a along y axis because it is in vertical axis. So, component of a along y axis and this is also can call a called as what projection of a along y axis. So, this a sin theta we can call. So, here one thing understand your a vector is nothing but how much a vector is nothing but it is your a cos theta i cap plus a sin theta j cap. So, this is your a vector you are splitting to two perpendicular axis. So, here one is vertical and one horizontal a cos theta a sin theta. Now, here if you want to find suppose I need to find you what is my projection of a what is my projection of a vector along x axis. Suppose I want to find what is projection of vector along x axis. So, if a vector is given in component form then what you do simply you do a vector dot i cap. So, why i cap? Now, because x axis is there and you know unity vector along x axis is nothing but i cap. So, simply you do i cap then how much you will get? If you will do i cap here this i cap will multiply this i cap only I will get a cos theta and this i dot j will become 0 the second term will not come here. So, projection of a vector along x axis if I am telling and it is basically it is a scalar projection. So, you can write also it is basically scalar projection. So, here or scalar component. So, here a vector dot i cap is coming basically a cos theta. Similarly, suppose I want to find what is my scalar projection ok because the whatever the thing is coming it is basically a scalar scalar coming scalar quantity. So, scalar projection of a vector along y axis along y axis. If this is I am asking then same thing will do. So, I want to find projection of a vector. So, first I have to take a vector along which axis along y axis and what is the unit vector along y axis that is j cap. So, do here a dot j cap. So, if we do a dot j here see here. So, a cos theta i dot j will come. So, this i dot j will become 0. So, only have to take a sin theta. So, which is nothing but this one a sin theta. So, if you want to find projection of a vector along any axis or any uh, another vector also then what you need to find now always you need to find the unit vector on which axis you are taking the projection and the vector is given that a dot product you have to do dot product you do with the unit vector then you are getting how much a sin theta ok. So, I hope you understand now I will go to the another concept. So, this is the scalar projection calculation now I will go to here suppose I need to find a rectangular component in 3D rectangular component of a vector components of a vector. So, this same vector will split in 3 perpendicular axis same vector will split in 3 perpendicular axis. Now, suppose it is your x axis it is your y axis it is your z axis. 
Now this is suppose a vector is there, a vector. This vector a making uh, an angle alpha with x axis and vector a making an angle beta with y axis and another angle gamma with z axis. So what is happening here? Now alpha beta gamma is what? Now alpha is nothing but angle angle between a vector and x axis. Similarly, beta is nothing but angle between a vector and y axis. And similarly, gamma is nothing but what? Angle between a vector and z axis. Okay, now here a vector is what? A vector is a uh, component is having vector how much? Now a vector component is nothing but it is a x i cap. So in x direction it has some component that is a x. In y direction it has some component it is your a y j cap. And in z direction it has some component that is a z k cap. So this is the a vector. Now here if you want to find what is cos alpha. If you want to find what is cos alpha then I will get basically a x by a vector magnitude. So what is a vector magnitude? A vector magnitude is nothing but I can write here a x square plus a y square plus a z square root under. So this is the a vector magnitude or you can write only a. So if you want to find cos alpha, the alpha is the angle between a vector and x, then what what will take? Now we will take a x component. What is this vector? A vector making with angle, making a distance like component a x with x axis divided by magnitude of this vector a. So cos alpha equal to how much? x by a. Similarly, if you write cos beta, that will be a y by a. If you write cos gamma, that will be a z by a. Okay. So, this is this is called what? Basically cosines. So, cosine of the angle alpha is nothing but x by a and x is the vector component, a vector component along x axis. Cos beta, cosine beta, here what is this basically? Now here, this is nothing but component of a vector along y divided by magnitude of a vector. Similarly, cos gamma. So, it is how much? Component of a vector along z. That is basically a z divided by a. Okay, or you can write also here x equal to a cos alpha, a y equal to a cos beta, a z equal to a cos gamma. And remember here, here if I will do cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, then how much I will get? Cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, if I will do, I have to take square of this, square of this, square of this and I have to add. If I will do that, I will get that is equal to nothing but 1. How it is coming? Now see here, if I will do here, ax square plus ay square plus az square, then it will become how much? a square. It is coming a square because square root you take both sides. Now, cos beta square is nothing but a square a y square by a square. Cos gamma is nothing but a z square by a square. Now, if here common will take down a square, then op will be x square plus a y square plus a z square, which is nothing but again a square. So, a square by a square is nothing but 1. So, that is why cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1. This is also called as direction cosines. Okay. So, direction cosine cos alpha cos beta cos gamma also called. Now, here remember this one, this expression also sometimes comes. And from here, another formula I will derive. What is that formula? Now, here instead of cos square, we will try to write some sine square term. And this thing should remember. So, here this one vector is there and uh, three along three axis you are taking. So, alpha beta gamma angles they are making. Then after a vector, vector magnitude you know, then cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma and this relation also remember, it is coming from here only. Okay. Now, now understand here, we got the point cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma that is equal to 1. Now, give implies here. Now you know cos square can be written as 1 minus sin square alpha plus cos square beta can be written as 
वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर बीटा प्लस कॉ स्क्वायर गामा कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर गामा इक्वल टू वन ना माइनस साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा माइनस साइन स्क्वायर बीटा माइनस साइन स्क्वायर गामा विल टेक राइट हैंड साइड एंड हियर दिस वन प्लस वन प्लस वन इट विल बी थ्री एंड हियर माइनस वन दिस वन विल कम दिस साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस ऑल आर गोइंग दैट साइड साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर बीटा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर गामा Now three minus one is nothing but two, so you can write two equal to sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma. So this is your expression which is coming from that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to one. So you know if a vector is given and this vector is making alpha angle with x-axis, beta angle with y-axis, and Gamma angle with z axis. Then after here, cos square relation will be like this, and sine square relations will be like this. So you must remember if you directly asking, direct to put this answer. Cos square plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma will be one, and sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma will be two. Okay. Now we'll be moving to the questions. We'll try to understand many questions based on the vectors. Okay, already vector addition, subtraction, multiplication already we have completed. Come to the questions. Okay, now here the expression one by root i plus one by root j is a what vector? So it is asking some null vector, unit vector, vector of magnitude root two, some a scalar like that. That type of things are telling. Okay, so we'll explain one by one. See first here. Here, if this vector is given, this vector you take as a vector. So a vector how much? One by root two i. Plus one by root two j. So as i component, j components are there. That means definitely it is not a scalar. Okay. Now here, let's find the magnitude. A vector magnitude is how much? Now you can. This is the i cap co i cap co uh, component. So you can take one by root two square plus j cap component one by root two square. Then after root under you take. If we take this one, how much will get? One by root two square is one by two. 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2. That root you take. So it is 1 root. So it will become how much? 1. So here a vector magnitude is coming 1. Definitely this answer not correct because they are telling magnitude root 2. So definitely if a vector magnitude is coming 1, remember if a vector, its magnitude is 1, then that vector is called unity vector. Okay. So 1 stands for what? Unity. So that is your unit vector. So your option will be a. Now come to the next question. The unit vector along i plus j. So here vector is given what? Now just write a vector. That is i plus j. So here it is not a unit vector because its magnitude will not become one. But they are asking the unit vector along this vector. How to find unit vector of a vector? Now just go for a cap. So what is a cap? That is called unit vector along a vector, which is a vector by a. Already these things we have completed in the first lecture vector. Try to see that. Now here the first lecture of the uh, vectors. Now here a vector by a. So a vector is given i cap plus j cap, and a vector magnitude how much? Coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square root. So it is how much coming? I plus j by root two. Or this one can be written as i by root two plus j by root two. Okay. So here check here. So here either you can write i plus j by root two, or you can write as Or you can write as i by root two plus j by root two also. So your answer will be C. Now come to the next question. The vector, a vector is represented by three i plus j plus two k. So here uh, components are given like this for a vector. Its length in x y plane is how much? So write down the vector. So a vector given three uh, three i actually. This is three i. Do this is three i. So three i vector three i plus j plus two k. Now see i and j. This i is along x axis. J is the unit vector along y axis. So whatever they are asking, they are asking x y plane. What is the length in x y plane? So this will contribute to the x y plane length. So that's why here what I will take 
if he length in x y plane i want to find length of a vector in x y plane i need to find then when i will find this length i will just take component of i square plus component of j square root under so that will be how much 9 plus 1 which is root 10 are able to understand so here here they are asking along x y plane that's why i'm doing this i'm taking i coefficient and j coefficient because i the unit vector along x axis j the unit vector along y axis suppose in the same question they are changing what is the length in x z plane then what will do i will take i coefficient and z coefficient that means k k coefficient so 3 square plus 2 square will be answer so try to understand if they are asking length along length in x y plane then you take what so i k coefficient j k coefficient square so how much coming answer answer is your c so c will be the answer root 10 now come to the next question the angle made by the vector a vector so here a vector is given how much i k plus j k with the x axis is how much now see x axis means telling means x axis means what is that that is your i cap x axis means it is your i cap now here a vector how much given a vector is given i cap plus j cap now they are asking what is this vector is making the angle with a angle with the x axis how to find now most of the time when angle you need to find will uh, follow the dot product rule okay so we can get easily here little so here if i do a vector dot i cap so how much i'll get i'll get a vector a vector magnitude i cap magnitude then cos theta what is theta now theta is nothing but just consider angle between angle between a vector and i cap angle between a vector and i cap or along x axis now here what is this one now if i cap you know one vector is i cap another vector is a is i cap plus j cap then that dot product if will take i cap i cap will multiply that will give you one and i dot j will multiply that will give you zero so it will become basically one so one is how much a vector magnitude is a i cap magnitude is one because unit vector along x axis a cos theta that means here what you are getting cos theta is nothing but one by a so how to find this a now already a vector is given if i want to find a vector magnitude how much i'll get a vector magnitude 1 square plus 1 square root which is how much root 2 so here it is nothing but 1 by root 2 so if you cos theta is 1 by root 2 so you know for a theta will be how much now cos theta is nothing but equal to cos 45 because cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so that's why cos 45 and here theta will be how much 45 degree so now check your option so option b is correctly matching with 45 degree I hope you understand. We'll go to the next question. Okay. So remember, if a vector is given along x-axis, they are asking. Then you can uh, any vector, not only i plus j, anything is given along x-axis. Asking means you do a vector dot i cap. You do. So it will give you a vector magnitude, i cap magnitude into cos theta. Then after you can do. Another method also you can do what? Now you can understand like this way. A vector i cap plus j cap means it will represent like this way. So this is your a vector. So this is your uh, j cap axis, this is your i cap axis. Now here if it is i plus j, then definitely you can tell this angle definitely how much it will be 45 degree. So in this also you can represent i plus j. That means x component is 1 and uh, I, j component also 1, y component is 1, 1, 1 point it is coming 1, 1, 2, 2 like that it will go. So in this direction it will go, so you can write 45 degree directly also. Okay, now come to the next question. If a unit vector is represented by this much, 0.5 i plus 0.8 j plus c k then you need uh, the value of c is how much now see again they are telling suppose take this a vector how much it is 0.5 i consider a 0.8 j plus c k now they are telling this vector is unit vector what is the property of unit vector according to definition it is its magnitude should be 1 unit vector magnitude should be 1 now here put this magnitude equal to 1 so if you take this one it is 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.8 square plus c square root under is nothing but 1 now take square both side you do and 0 0.5 square is nothing but 0 0.25 0 0.8 square is nothing but 0 0.64 plus c square it will be 1 square is 1 
Now here if you add this one, that is 6 for 9, say, uh, sorry 5 for 9, so it will be 89. So 0 0.89 plus c square equal to 1. From here if you find c square, how much will come? That is 1 minus 0 0.89 which is nothing but it will be 0 0.11, 0 0.11. Now here if you want to c square is 0 0.11, you can tell c equal to nothing but root under 0 0.11. 1 minus 0 0.89 is 0 0.11. Then after c will be nothing but how much? Root under 0 0.11. So your answer will be a. So option a will be correct. 0 0.11 root will be there. Okay. So it is simple question. So here a vector is given and telling a vector is the uh, unity vector and you find what is the value of uh, this c value you find. Okay. Now here if a portion pushes a box kept on a horizontal surface with force of 100 Newton in vector notation force can be expressed as how much. So here uh, given here some box is there in on a horizontal floor. Let me do again also that picture. So this is your horizontal floor. In this floor, you are having a box. Now, what they are telling a force is acted upon like this way. So, a force is acting. This is F. Now, it is vertical, it is horizontal. So, from the horizontal, it is making an angle 45 degree. So, just before uh, I told before starting the class, and in component also already I have told in the next, last lecture. But what we have discussed that if a vector is there, if it is y axis, it is x axis, then you can take component wise, you can take. But remember this is your i cap because it is positive x axis i cap, it is negative axis so minus j cap. So if this vector component I will take, so first what I will write f vector is how much, f cos 45, okay because already, already I told theta connected axis always cos theta, f cos 45 i cap, then after here I will take minus f sin 45 j cap. So why minus I am taking because it is in minus j axis another component. So that's why I am taking here minus j cap. So how much coming f cos 45 i and minus f uh, sin 45 j. And here this force magnitude is given how much this force magnitude is nothing but it is given 100. So I can write here 100 into f value is 100 1 by root 2 i minus 100 into 1 by root 2 j. Now here I can take 100 by root 2, 100 by root 2 I can take common and 100 I can write as 50 into 2 by root 2 and here I can write i cap minus j cap. So 100 can be written as 50 into 2 divided by root 2. Now here what will happen? This root 2 will cancel to 2 as how much? Root 2. So it will become total 50 into root 2 i cap minus j cap. So if you want to force you want to represent, so you check option, so definitely this is not correct. So this one is coming here, correct option. Okay. So here 50 root 2 i cap minus j cap. So simple thing, so just take component, this component will be f cos 45, it is in right direction, so plus i cap, it is in negative x di y direction, so that's why minus j cap, so minus j cap I am writing here, f sin uh, minus will be there. Okay. Now come to the next question. Determine a vector which when added to the resultant of a vector and b vector gives what? It gives unity vector along negative y direction. Now see, so they are telling a vector is there. So I don't know that vector. Let's take x vector. So this x vector you need to find. So what they are telling now when added to the resultant of a and b. That means here resultant of a and b means it is a plus b. So when you are adding to resultant of a plus b, it gives a unit vector along negative y. So what is the uh, unit vector along negative y? Now that is your j cap. j cap is the unit vector along y axis. If you positive j, positive y axis, negative j means negative y axis. So here this is the thing they are asking, the find what is the value of x vector and some options are given in vector format. Now simply you put here what is a vector. Now a vector is nothing but 2y plus 5j minus k plus b vector is nothing but 3i minus 4j minus k plus x vector equal to how much minus j. Now here 2 plus 3 is 5i, 5j 5 minus 4j is plus j and minus k minus k is basically minus 2k plus x vector equal to minus j. 
but we need to find x vector then definitely we need to send phi pi cap right hand side so it is minus phi pi and j cap also right hand side it will become minus 2j because this one will go that side it will become minus j another minus j is there so both will become minus 2j then after plus 2k cap so how much coming your x your x is coming minus phi pi minus 2j plus 2k so that means your option will be a a will be correct minus phi pi minus 2j plus 2k okay come to the next question if a particle moves from a point p so here p is given to a point q here q is given it's a displacement vector is how much so it is simple question so here understand a particle is moving from p p is given how much 2 comma 3 comma 5 q is given how much 3 comma 4 comma 5 now this is your suppose initial point this is your final point so particle is going from initial point to the final point you need to find it what is the displacement vector so displacement vector you give s vector noise which or a del x vector whatever now what to find uh, this one now here always remember when displacement vector you are finding some initial point final point is given so what you do now final minus initial point you do what how to do now here see this is your basically what now this one you can tell x1 this is your y1 this is your z1 this is your this a 3 is x2 this is your y2 and this is your z2 point z2 points if a displacement vector you want to find you do like this x2 minus x1 i cap similarly plus y2 minus y1 j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap displacement vector x2 minus x1 i cap z y2 minus y1 j cap like plus z2 minus z1 k cap Now do x2 is how much 3? X1 is how much 2? So do 3 minus 2 i cap plus this y2 is 4 and here y1 is 3. So how much do 4 minus 3 j cap? Then this is z2 is 5 and z1 also 5. So you can do here 5 minus 5 k cap. So 5 minus 5 is 0 basically. This will come 0. This will come how much one j cap. This will come also one i cap. So displacement vector how much coming i cap plus j cap. So your option is there. So C option is correct. So i cap plus j cap. Simple thing only. So initial point, final point is given means. So remember this is the final point. X final, x initial, y final, y initial, z final, z initial. X two minus x one i cap you give because vectorically you are finding. Y2 minus Y1 J cap give Z2 minus Z1 K cap. Give. So the following forces start acting on a particle. Particle at rest at the origin of the coordinate system simultaneously. Particle will move in which direction? So here basically you need to find the resultant vector. Now see what given exactly. So here four forces are given. So here uh, four forces are given, and they are asking what is the resultant of this force. By understanding the resultant, you can tell particle is moving in which direction. Now, first to find the resultant vector, R vector is nothing but how much? F1 vector plus F2 vector plus F3 vector plus F4 vector. Now, what is the resultant vector R vector here? Now, F1 vector check. It is minus 4i minus 5j plus 5k. So, write minus 4i minus 5j plus 5k. Similarly, plus 5i 8j plus 6k. So right here, 5i 5i plus 8j plus 6k. So f3 vector check. F3 vector is given minus 3i plus 4j minus 7k. So right here, minus 3i plus 4j minus 7k. And fourth vector, 2i. 2i minus 3j minus 2k minus 2k. Now here i cap i cap coefficient what? So you see it is minus 4i plus 5i minus 3i 2i. So what this all? Now here I am writing r vector how much? Minus 4 plus 5. So it will be uh, 
a plus i then here minus 3i means it will be minus 2i and plus 2i if will do it will come 0i so you'll see here other i can write here like you see a uh, 4 and minus 3 it is basically minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7 plus 5 plus 2 all all i cap i am adding first so it will become how much 7 plus 7 minus 7 0 now come to the j so here it is j is there here also j is there here also j is there here also j is there now see here sign also see so minus 5 minus 3 how much minus 8 and 8 and 4 how much plus 12 so minus 8 plus 12 which how much it will come plus 4 j cap now come to the k cap so k cap is given here so 5 k cap 6 k cap so addition you have to do because all are uh, same sign so 11 k cap then minus 7 k cap so it will be how much 11 minus 7 4 k cap and here it is minus 2 is there so it will be plus 2 k cap okay so, so 6 plus 5 11 11 minus 7 will go it will become a 4 and 4 minus 2 is 2 now see r vector is how much coming r vector is coming 4 j cap plus 2 k cap and you know j cap is what along y axis it is the unit vector along z axis it is the unit vector so that means particle is moving in which plane this is your y and this is your z so particle is moving in which plane y z plane so your option will be answer will be b so particle is moving in y z plane so simple thing just given vectors so find the resultant and while resultant you are taking i i coefficient you have to add j j coefficient you have to add k k coefficient you have to add you are finding the resultant then after check which components are remaining in the resultant so here y z uh, components are remaining so that's why your particle is moving in which plane y z plane okay suppose here i cap k cap is there then what is the answer answer will be x z plane because i cap is the unit vector along x axis now come to the next one <coughs> the unit vector parallel to the resultant of the vector so here a vector is given 4 i 3 j 6 k and b vector is how much given minus i plus 3 minus 8 k cap now they are asking what is the unit vector parallel to resultant of this vector so first of all see what is the resultant of two vector that is r vector equal to nothing but a vector plus b vector now what is a vector here a vector is nothing but 4i plus 3j plus 6k then after b vector is how much now b vector is given minus i minus i plus 3j minus 8k now same thing you do here resultant you find so what to do just add these things 4i minus i if you will add it will be 3i 3j 3j if you will add it will be 6j 6k and minus 8k if you will add it will get how much minus 2k so this is your resultant vector but they are asking for unity vector parallel to the resultant vector so that means you have to find the unity vector of this resultant vector that is your r cap so r cap is nothing but r vector by r vector mod so it will be how much 3i plus 6j minus 2k divided by magnitude of this r vector so what is the magnitude of this r vector the magnitude of r vector you take coefficient of i square 3 square plus 6 square plus plus of minus 2 square is uh, same as plus 2 square so no need to uh, take minus 2 here take plus 2 only. now 3 square is 9 6 square is 36 2 square is how much 4 so it will be how much check here so 3i plus 6j minus 49 root okay because it is 9 4 13 and 36 it will come 49 root and root 49 is nothing but it is 7 so i can write 1 by 7 3i plus 6j minus 2k so your answer will be what 1 by 7 3i plus 6j minus 2k so check here so here uh, there are some confusion answer also there you see so here it is given 1 by 49 also it is not, not answer because when magnitude you are taking you have to take root actually so root 49 is basically 7 so answer will be your a so i hope you understand we'll go to the next question here they are telling the angle between the vectors so here i plus j and j plus k is how much so here some options are given okay so simply you see so suppose you take a vector is how much it is i plus j and b vector is how much take it is your j plus k 
so immediately calculate what is a vector magnitude a vector magnitude is nothing but root 1 square plus 1 square so which is nothing but root 2 similarly calculate here it is given j minus k no need to worry now here is take b vector how much b vector equal to 1 square plus of minus 1 square but minus 1 square is same 1 square no need to write directly write 1 square which is root 2 okay so a vector magnitude and b vector magnitude you got now what we need to find angle between them so then after what you do you do a dot b you do so a dot b is how much that is a b cos theta and where theta is nothing but theta i am considering what theta i am considering angle between a and b angle between a vector and b vector now here a dot b you calculate what is a dot b now see whenever component format is given already in the dot product multiplication of vector already we have completed that i cap i cap coefficient due to multiply so a dot b if you want to calculate component form is given i cap i cap coefficient multiply here see no i cap but here i cap is there so it will be zero will come because no i cap means zero i cap coefficient for b vector is zero so zero into one will be zero plus here j cap j cap is there so that one j cap coefficient is one here j cap coefficient is one nothing is there means one is there so one into one plus you see here k cap is not there so that's why it will come zero so a dot b you got so what is the a dot b value you got now a vector magnitude i have written here root 2 b vector magnitude written root 2 then after cos theta okay now see this will come total how much 1 this will come 2 cos theta then definitely i can get cos theta is nothing but 1 by 2 and for which value of theta cos theta becomes 1 by 2 now for theta is 60 degree so you can write cos theta equal to nothing but cos 60 that implies theta will be 60 degree okay remember cos 30 how much root 3 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2 so your answer will be how much 60 degree option d so your correct answer is option d okay so simple question so the here just given a vector b vector just do a dot b so find something what is coming according to component form then a dot b is nothing but a b cos theta and a and b magnitude you find from this component then after cos theta you write then after cos theta is nothing but 1 by 2 then theta equal to 60 degree okay the so next question they are telling two forces so one force is given f 5 i cap 10 plus 10 j cap minus 20 k cap and f2 vector is given 10 i minus 5 j acts on a single point now the angle between f1 and f2 nearly how much okay here also same type of things will do but first i'll not calculate magnitude first let me check uh, what is coming f1 vector dot f2 vector so what is this one coming let me check according to the component form then after i'll uh, see about the cos theta now is uh, dot product i'll do you see here so here 10 i and uh, 5 i i cap i cap coefficient i have to multiply so for f1 i cap coefficient is 5 so 5 into this is it 10 so f2 i cap coefficient is 10 then after plus here it is how much j cap coefficient is it 10 here j cap coefficient is minus 5 now see here k cap is there but here no k cap so now no need to take k cap and all now see it is 50 minus 50 so how much coming total 0 plus 50 minus 50 is 0 so f1 vector dot f2 vector is coming 0 and you know if 2 vector dot product is 0 definitely what we know f1 vector is perpendicular to f2 vector what is the perpendicular meaning the angle between them is nothing but how much 90 degree angle between them is 90 degree then after two vector will be perpendicular to each other and their dot product will come zero okay because in dot product we have cos theta so when cos theta becomes zero now when theta is 90 degree so here by closing eyes you can put your answer as option d okay now come to the next question so let a vector is this much b any vector another vector b vector which is normal to a so normal means what perpendicular suppose this is a vector and b, one other vector is b vector they are telling normal normal means what the angle between them is 90 degree or they are perpendicular to each other so that means a vector is perpendicular to b or you can tell theta equal to 90 degree and you know if theta is 90 degree then what a dot product things will come now a dot b will become nothing but zero with theta is 90 angle between two vectors is uh, 90 degree 
then a dot b is how much? 0. So that means here a vector is given. Now they are asking what is the b vector and here 4 options are mentioned. Now what to do here you see how my uh, dot product will become 0. First let me check about a vector. A vector is i cap into a cos theta plus j cap into a sin theta. So this is given. Now I have to b vector I have to take in such a that i cap i cap coefficient multiplication plus j cap j cap coefficient multiplication should give me 0. Now what is i cap coefficient is there you see a cos theta. Now here what I will do I will take uh, something like here this coefficient you see here b cos theta b sin theta b sin theta b cos theta like this is given. Suppose let me take uh, here i cap into b sin theta. Then after here a cos theta b sin theta when multiplication will come it will come how much a b cos theta into sin theta. So definitely to cancel this one I need minus a b cos theta sin theta. If I will add both then my resultant will become 0 or my result will become 0. So here a already there then definitely here what I can take this will be b I have to take another b and already sin theta is there so I need another cos theta so I have to put cos theta and I need also one negative sign so here what I will do this one I will consider as a minus so how much coming i k b sin theta minus j k b cos theta now here if we will do this multiplication a dot b so perfectly it will come how much 0 ok so without calculating any other thing just by taking from options we are calculating the answer so take from answer from options you take so here my multiplication should come 0 that means i cap i cap multiplication you are adding with j cap j cap multiplication so here i cap multiplication how much coming a b cos theta sin theta to cancel this one you need another minus a b cos theta sin theta and here already a sin theta is there so to get b cos theta and one minus sign so to take which component you have to take this component definitely so here this will be not correct this is also not correct this is not correct so answer will be option c okay i hope you understand now go to the next thing so the angles which a vector i j k max with x y and z axis respectively okay so remember when respectively what is written that time that means x for x this is the first answer this answer will be for x all first answer will be for x and for y so second of the second answer will be for y and for z the all or third answer will be for z remember respectively written now here for x you know for x you know unit vector is i cap for j unit vector is j cap for z for y unit vector is j cap and for z unit vector is k cap now what they are asking now vector is already given now take that vector what is this vector vector is i cap plus j cap plus root 2 k cap now what we need to do we need to find angle between uh, ang whatever angle it is making with x y z like that so what i will do now first if i want to find angle between a and i a and uh, i then i do i have to do a dot i if a dot i have to do so how much i'll get i'll get only one because i dot j will become zero i dot k will become 0 also because dot product of different uh, vectors like unit vectors is 0 so only I will get 1 and here you just find also what is a vector magnitude so what is a vector magnitude that is root under 1 square plus 1 square plus root 2 square is 2 directly I am writing so this is nothing but how much 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 4 root is nothing but 2 so a vector magnitude is how much 2 now here you see so a and a vector magnitude is a i i cap magnitude is 1 so i have to write cos theta that is nothing but how much 1 now from here if i want to find cos theta that will be how much 1 by a which is 1 by 2 and you know if cos theta is 1 by 2 then definitely theta will be 60 degree so the angle made uh, by a vector with the x axis is nothing but how much 60 degree but in 60 degree you see there are two options here a option also c option also so definitely we do uh, check about j you see j also normally uh, same only one j is there similar if we will do a dot j a vector dot j i will get one and from here also like this if i will calculate 
I'll get theta equal to with y axis nothing but 60 degree. So theta with x also 60, y also 60. Then we need to find what with z. Similarly, we will do a vector dot z cap or you can write a vector dot k cap. So sometimes k cap also can be written as z cap. No need to worry. So this is how much will come. This will come nothing but here if we we'll do k cap, it will come root 2 because a vector dot k cap you are doing. So when k cap will multiply with this and this, it will become 0. With this one, it will give root 2. So that's why root 2 writing. Now here same thing write a cos theta equal to root 2 then cos theta is nothing but root 2 by a or you can write root 2 by 2 which is 1 by root 2. Now tell me for which value of theta cos theta becomes 1 by root 2 for theta equal to 45 degree. So here in a option you see last option is 60 degree for c last option is how much 45 degree. So definitely your C answer will be correct. Okay, not A. So here A, A vector is making angle with Z axis is how much? 45 degree. Okay, because cos theta is coming 1 by root 2. And we are considering just this theta is angle between A and Z axis. A vector and Z axis. Now come to the last question. So here it is given if a vector P vector making an angle alpha, beta, gamma respectively with x, y, z axis respectively then sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma value is how much okay so today just in the first slide we just uh, uh, derived this what is sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma so that is basically value basically nothing but how much that answer will come to so you can put answer to and if you want to know this one so here you, you know already cos square alpha plus cos square beta okay plus cos square gamma this is basically how much this is equal to 1 okay this one already we derived today first slide now from here what to do now your cos square you have to change as 1 minus uh, plus 1 minus sin square beta and plus 1 minus sin square gamma that is equal to 1 and from here sin square alpha sin square beta sin square gamma you take that side that 1 you take this side then here here how much will come 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 3 minus 1 and here it will become sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma. Now, here minus 1 is nothing but 2 and here it is sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma. And alpha, beta, gamma are angles made by p vector or any vector with the x axis, y axis and z axis respectively. Understanding? So, this is the way you can calculate and also we have derived the how this cos square alpha plus cos square beta cos square gamma is coming 1 okay so here uh, definitely you have to write here cos alpha equal to how much ax by a if a vector or p vector whatever considering the component of a vector along x axis that is x by a and cos beta is nothing but that is your a y by a and cos gamma is nothing but how much that is your a z by a if you take squares then it will come how much 1 so i hope you understand so here we completed uh, many questions under vector okay considering uh, resultant of the vector dot product of the vector unity vectors concept also in the next classes will be uploading under cross product and dot product more questions okay keep watching the video thank you all of you all the very best